nutritional components in grains, and you can get some, some good nutritional value out of eating grains, but the downside is just not worth the upside, in my humble opinion, especially if you're already predisposed to having problems. Uh, so best to stay away, and you're absolutely correct. If he has diverticulitis, the chances are really good that he's got a gluten problem. Anything else, ma'am? I can't convince him of it, but... Well, but you can I, only do what you can do. Yeah. You can lead a horse to I'd water. I'd like to know, does Eichhorn... Um, does what? Flour. E-I-N-K-O-R-N. Uh, E-I-N-K-O-R-N. Is that, is that that new protein? Somebody was just telling me about it. It's, new... a, it's a flower. It's an ancient... It's a, uh, oh, an Eichhorn. Ancient grain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a grain. It's a, it's a type of wheat, actually. It's not a corn at all. It's a type of wheat. Yeah. Uh, and it's a big problem. It's, it ain't good. It was, it's, an, it's a more ancient wheat. I mean, it's been around for a long time, but it's still got all the problems associated with wheat. It doesn't have gluten in it, though. I, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have gluten in it. I've got to look that up. I'm pretty well, sure it has a little bit, but they, they say it's not the not a kind of, it's a different kind of gluten. You know what, sweetheart? There's no need for it. This is, the, this is the point. Maybe it is good, or maybe it's he can tolerate it, but there's no real need for it. There's no upside to it. You get a little bit of nutrients, but you don't get any nutrients that you can't get from other sources. And given that he already has digestive problems, it probably isn't a great idea, although it's certainly better than the processed wheat and the GMO wheat that uh, most of us are getting through regular foods, regular processed foods. All right, got to move on. Thank you so much for your call. Appreciate it. Hope we helped you out. Helen in California, let's go to Texas and talk to Dave. Welcome to the Bright Side, Dave. What's going on, buddy? Uh, Good morning, Ben. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. I've uh, got an issue with a uh, hyperactive thyroid, which I guess led to Graves' disease. Uh, okay, no problem. Graves' disease is an autoimmune disease. Uh, the thyroid is the third point on our triangle of disease. You got your digestive system, you got your blood sugar system, and then you got your adrenal thyroid system. And you notice that we said the adrenal thyroid system. I didn't just say thyroid, I said adrenal thyroid. And it's very important that we think of the thyroid as part of the adrenal thyroid complex. Your adrenal glands are your body's fight or flight glands, and your uh, thyroid is your body's major regulatory gland. Every single system, every single cell, every single tissue in the body is responsive to the thyroid. So when your thyroid gets whacked out, everything will be whacked out. Now, Gray's disease is a little bit more unusual than the opposite, which is Hashimoto's or hypo low poorly functioning thyroid. You've got the opposite problem, but you still have a thyroid problem. And the first thing you want to do whenever the thyroid is getting whacked out is, surprise, surprise, focus on digestive health. The th- Graves' disease is an autoimmune disease. That means it's a disease of the immune system. And once again, as we were talking to our last caller, whenever the immune system is active, whether it's an autoimmune disease or some kind of immune response, whatever it is, Whenever you've got something going on in the immune system, something has gotten into the body that shouldn't get into the body. I know I say that five times an hour on the bright side, but it's just so fundamental and so important. Does that make sense, first of all, Dave, that your immune system is activated? Dave? Digestive problems, and I got them under control. Well, you think you, 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 you think you got them under control, but if you still have yeah. the Graves' disease, you haven't quite, you haven't gotten everything under control. Right, I understand. Okay, good. So first of all, don't let them take your thyroid. Did they tell you they want to remove the thyroid? Or they want to remove it? Yeah, they it? wanted that. Uh, don't. Uh, don't, don't do it, people. Please never let any doctor take your thyroid out. I have, it is the most heartbreaking thing to see somebody without a thyroid. It, it, will, it just breaks your heart to see the health disaster that thyroidectomy does. And it is a, it, no, no, or, uh, no removal of an organ is good, gallbladder removal or whatever, but thyroidectomy is probably the worst thing that can happen to you in terms of having an organ removed unless, of course, you have cancer. So focus on the digestive system, number one. Eliminate problem foods. If you have any digestive issue from, a, from gas to heartburn to flat uh, to a, a loose stools to constipation, link them up with foods. Eliminate those foods. Uh, secondly, get yourself on a g- good probiotic supplement. Or get yourself on a great probiotic supplement. Yes, the good ones are expensive, but they're worth it. They're so worth it. The nightly essence will cost you around 60 bucks for a month's supply. It's worth it. 
So get yourself on a good probiotic supplement. Use fermented foods. Then there's nutrients that you can use to help stabilize the metabolism, especially thyroid metabolism, the uh, chemistry of the thyroid. The B vitamins are extremely important. I'd be using high doses of the B vitamins if I had a thyroid issue. By the way, the B vitamins are known as your stress vitamins. They help the body handle stress. So... uh, Use the B vitamins. You'll get a bunch of B vitamins in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Vitamin C is very important for the thyroid. It's important for all the glands. It's also an anti-stress vitamin. I would be using high doses of vitamin C. Iodine can be helpful for the thyroid. Use Iodorol, 12.5 to 25 milligrams a day of Iodorol. Vitamin A can be important for the thyroid. In fact, all the fatty vitamins can be important for the thyroid, especially vitamin A and vitamin E. Around 20,000 international units of vitamin A, around 400 or so international units a day of vitamin E. Don't forget about your omega fatty acids, especially omega-3 fatty acids. You can get those in the ultimate EFAs, which are a nice balance of your omega-6s and your omega-3s. There's so much you could do, but that's a good place to start. You can also use, by the way, uh, uh, thyroid extract. You can use thyroid gland extract. Not so much for Graves' disease, but more for hypothyroidism or other thyroid issues. Anything else you got for us? Oh, that's the music. All right, Dave, thanks so much. I hope we helped you out. If we didn't, give us a call back tomorrow, or you can always send me an email, ben at ksco.com. Tomorrow we'll talk to Dr. Robert Lustig about his book, Fat Chance. If you get a, if you get a minute today and you want to uh, preview our talk tomorrow or discussion with Dr. Lustig tomorrow, check out his YouTube video, Sugar the Bitter Truth. If you want to learn more about the Longevity products, head to my website, brightsideben.com. Click on the Join the Team link on the upper left-hand corner of the page, and you can start yourself a Longevity business, make some, make some money selling Longevity products, and you can also join me in my mission to educate the world about the importance of nutritional supplementation. Stay tuned for Alex Jones next on most of these stations. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye. Bye. Hey everyone, have you heard about the no-no hair removal device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional quality results, here's our favorite host Cheryl for no-no hair removal. Thanks. Hey gals, I love talking about my no-no. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Got unwanted facial hair? No-no hair has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors, so it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the No-No, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card, and you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible No-No hair completely risk-free. Call 1-800-953-6062. That's 800-953-6062. 800-953-6062. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653.